This is the Suicide Prevention Hotline. May I ask who's calling? You've reached the Suicide Prevention Hotline. How may I help you? Hello, this is the Suicide Prevention Hotline. My name is... Need your help. Yes, yes, I'm here. I'm so happy you called. How can I help you? This is gonna sound... weird. Hit me with your best shot. I'm stuck in purgatory? Then we have all the time we need. That's one way to look at it. I know, optimism is contagious. Here's another. That's not a real phone. And you're not a suicide hotline operator. That's a real wake-up call. Welcome to Purgatory. Your emotional support liaisons will be with you shortly. While we're here, what do you think about owning the moment? Maybe if you took off your shirt? Hi, I'm Barty McNeckbuck, neckbuck, neckbuck. And I'm Ella May Lippin, 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 Lippincott Jr. And we'll be your emotional support liaisons. Can we start you off with some soothing words of encouragement? Are you vampires? Uh, we don't say the V word. V word, V word, V word, V word, V word. The universe. Nice to see you. Oh shit. Why is she here? Probably a formality. Yeah, formality my ass. She's gonna send us to the bowels of hell. This must be all some kind of joke. What did you do? Slip me a roofie? Drag me in here? Get me when I'm all vulnerable? Tell me some stories? But at least I'm clothed. For now. For now. For now. Don't look at me. I'm, I'm just here to document the proceedings. Yeah, like, your call may be monitored for quality assurance or training purposes, but it's your life instead. What does this say? Um, the pages are blank. That's kind of funny. Like one of those things you think, oh neat, and then you forget all about it. Yeah. Then they spring it on you in the end and you're like, ah, oh, fuck me. I think that this is your purgatory. Your purgatory. You're Thomas and I'm just woman? Just woman. God, I sound as dumb as a box of... Rocks? What if instead of woman, you were rocks? Huh? Yeah? So what's the general vibe of this purgatory thing? Well, so far we've got me contemplating suicide. Uh because I discovered I'm stuck in purgatory in which I am contemplating suicide because I discovered that I'm, I, I'm stuck in, 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 in purgatory. Well, this is entirely and... too circular. We thought so, too. No, I thought we... I thought we agreed. Oh, yeah. Endless loop. How original. You need to focus. I am focused. Call me rocks, you son of a bitch. I am not ready to make that commitment. That's fair. Well, there's no use in crying over spilt milk. They spilt her milk. But she'll fight back. And justice will be served. On the rocks. Before we start the rocks cinematic universe, can we just get get back to the... Oh, well, start talking and use small words so I'll understand. Okay, so my theory is uh, purgatory is about infinity, right? Like like some kind of like a, a mental... Mental infinity. Like in... Infinity. Infinity. Get it? Hi, it's Bidey again. And Ella May, in case you forgot. Can we get you anything? A hug, perhaps? Oh my, those eyes, they're like endless pools of humanity. <laughs> she looks absolutely delicious. 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 Mm. Is it me, or are they lesbians? I think the context of delicious is more like, I want to bite your neck, blah. We get such a bad rep, you know? People think it's all, and that's only a minor part of it. It's mostly about heart. It's not our fault. We didn't ask for this. What, being lesbians or vampires? <sighs> yep, totally lesbians. This is so bizarre. I gotta wonder if it's all just a dream. It's not a dream. It's it's just purgatory, infinity, or, 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 or maybe a metaphor. Metaphor. A metaphor. A metaphor? What's a metaphor with a bazillion pages with the word woman in the middle? I think it might be symbolic. I know what this all is. All of this. All of this. You're just trying to get laid. Get laid. Get laid. Get laid. Get laid. Why am I in your purgatory? I already told you, it's not, it's not my, my, my purgatory. Um, it was just you, then you brought me in, yeah? I don't think that's been established. What's been established then? Well, 
It's purgatory, which is infinite, so I guess, I guess we're immortal. We get it. You're basically vampires. I just got a vision of post-apocalyptic urban hellscape vampires. Lesbian vampires. Unleashing that vampire strength. Oh, shut up about vampires. I'm sorry I'm not human. Stupid fangs and bloodlust. Rocks, support us. I don't know how. But you're a suicide hotline operator. Well, that's sort of a gray area. Thomas. Look what you did. What did I do? You triggered them into a catatonic stupor with your toxic masculinity. You're the lord of purgatory and a misogynist, incel, neckbearded heart. Oh, that's an astute observation coming from Mr. Take Off Your Fucking Shirt. Oh, it all makes sense now. This isn't purgatory, it's a porno. Pornatory. I knew it. You just wanted to get up all in these guts. A bit of how's your father? With the side of Bob's your uncle. What the fuck are you talking about? No wonder why you called the hotline. There is no hotline. You're not gonna rough up this suspect. I know my rights. You don't know Jack, 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 Jack shit. Listen here, dickhead. I know a lot more than you think. Holy foreshadowing. Why don't you take a picture? Silly me. It looked like you were about to own the moment. I don't know what that means. Infinite purgatory. That means what? Like, um, infinite moments? But, while we're on the topic of conversation, let's talk about the Rock Cinematic Universe universe, because I have a few ideas. Okay, first off, I'm really digging the post-apocalyptic vampire vibe. No. Listen, it's me and my girls. My girls? Meaning us? We can fight crime? And get brunch and stuff? And get our hair did and nails done? But you gotta be lesbians. It's a deal! Sealed with a kiss? Aren't we supposed to go back to the beginning after Holy Foreshadow? No. Go back. Yeah, we go back. No, go back to the lesbian vampires. No, to the beginning. To the lesbians. The beginning. To lesbians. Beginning. Lesbians. No, 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 no! Lesbians kissing? That's all I ever wanted in life. He looks so lost. I feel compelled to hold him. Nestle him to my bosom, bosom, bosom. I think maybe you guys should... They're not going to kiss. I mean, just... for a second. Or longer. Whatever. We haven't gone back. That's good, right? It means we're moving forward. Maybe you're lonely. Are you lonely? No, not really. But are you? Not really, no. No, Bidey LMA, I'm good. No, Rox, you're courageous. So let's build on that. It's just... I... It's just so hard. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm reciting lines on a page. I don't know how to lead an emotional support brigade, let alone prevent anyone from committing suicide. So stupid, 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 stupid. No, Rox, you're amazing. You're an inspiration. This whole thing, it's... It's a lot of pressure. And you're doing surprisingly well. A lot better than I'm doing. Oh no, Thomas, don't say that. You've been wonderful. I can't even get laid in pornatory. <laughs> Aww. 
What a couple of cutie pies. Mm. Not cute like you, you little lesbian. Then plant one on her. Let's get the universe's opinion. No, no, go back. Go back. One kiss? One moment. Is that too much to ask? Is that too much to ask? Look what happened to us. That's awesome. But I was thinking, I am surrounded by hot chicks. How and dare you call them chicks? And don't call them hot. I'm a chick, and he can call me hot. And, and he, he can, can call, call me hot. hot. I guess you don't understand feminism. You know what? It, it doesn't matter. I just want to go home. Well... Who's going to be the hero to be the hero to be the hero to save the damsel? But he put the damsel in distress in the first place. Me and you were about to mix. And you, it's hero time. I'm no hero. I can't even give blood. 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 Blood donors are the silent heroes. Hey. But look at his jugular. So, 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 so throbby. We have feelings too, for all of humanity, and not just our jugulars. I might need a hand. Well, maybe when you're at your lowest point, someone comes along, or gets the call, and the journey can begin. Okay, you start. Start what? The journey. Maybe we sort of start together. Two heads are better than one, right? Like Orpheus, the two-headed dog owned by Garen, or Nekobau if you want to go the reptilian route. Neko what? The two-headed snake in Egyptian mythology. Because apparently I know mythology. That means I'm not just a one-dimensional blob doll. That means I'm not just a one-dimensional blow-up doll. Words on a page. Believe in your experience, and if, if you're experiencing my revelation, that means you don't have to be a basket case. You can be the hero filled with, with strength and confidence. Nothing can stop you, not even purgatory. You can be. You will be. You are the hero. My hero. Don't say anything. But he didn't even ask for consent. Thomas? Oh no. This isn't your purgatory. It's mine. 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 Holy fucking plot twist. To ask someone. So much. So this is all you, huh? Somebody's got to own the moment. Suddenly you know what that means? Just pick a moment and fucking own it. But I got here first. I gave you a head start. Thanks for making me a neck beard. Technically that was sound guy. <clears throat> And an incel. Sound guy. What am I doing here? I'm 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 supposed to save you. Watch you it. You watch it. It's not so fun, is it? Being questioned, interrogated, judged. Tell me, would it be cute and playful if I put my hands on you like you did to me? <laughs> I've got no one in my corner. No. Thomas, we don't mean to neglect you. Oh, we just haven't treated ourselves to a spa day in forever. We got caught up in the circumstances. Never mind the Manny Petty and mimosas. There's a wounded soul in need.
You have someone in your corner. Are you happy now? You brought me into your purgatory. Are you happy? So you tell me, is this where the journey begins? Or is this where it ends? I did what I had to. Think whatever you want, I don't care. If I reach out, it's just so... It's too much to ask. Oh, uh, look at that shot. It's so balanced. Yeah, whatever. I gotta get closer. I can't get good sound from here. You just want an upskirt of the vampires? They're wearing skirts? Didn't even notice. Oh well, I'm going in. That boom drops in my shot, I swear. I won't get in your fucking shot! Gee, what's that? Is that the fucking sound guy in my shot? Am I in shot? Fucking guy. Yeah, that's perfect. You said you didn't know how to prevent anyone from committing suicide. Did you mean you? I am sick of this place. But I can't leave. Not yet. Because I'm the hero who's come to save the damsel. You threw out a lifeline. How are you gonna save me? You threw out your own lifeline. Where does that leave us? You know... You're fucked in the head. We are both fucked in the head. I'm not willing to concede to that. We need each other. You're a mess. So what? So nothing. You're a disaster. So what? So nothing. Exactly. Let's call a truce. I don't want a truce. Then the storm's a comet. You don't have the guts. The fuck I don't. This, this is, is my purgatory. purgatory. It's, it's mine. My penance. My suffering. I deserve it. I don't need you. Stop it. Look at yourself. You should be helping each other. You're acting like monsters. You guys. Don't you see? You have everything. Life. Humanity. Each other. All the time in the world. You're wasting it. LMA. You're right. We're the monsters. You're not monsters. You're Thomas. You're rocks. That's so much. It's everything you need. Maybe. Yeah. Yes. I listen. Yes. And I listen. Yes. And maybe. If we listen. If you listen. If we hear. If you hear. Well. That's something.
This is it. The honorable moment. Wait, wait. For what? It's just... Just what? Now the suspense is killing me. This isn't my purgatory. It's not mine. It's, it's our, our purgatory. purgatory. I kept it inside. No one could tell. It all looks the same. And then you're stuck. In your head. In your purgatory. Forever. Infinity. It's not a metaphor. It's not symbolic. It's why I called the hotline. It's why I answered. It's our burden. Our battle. If you think about it. It's kind of funny. Like some neat plot twist. And then you forget all about it. And they spring it on you in the end. There's no text. Just blank, blank pages. pages. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I wanted to believe in the magic, but they played me like a fool. A fool, I tell you. A fool. Hey, wait, wait, what's this? Oh, oh, sorry. It's okay. Thanks. Okay. You have my attention. Oh, Thomas. There you are. Say hello to Roxanne. Call me Rox, you son of a bitch! What a cool name. I wonder who came up with it. You know each other? No. Uh, no, we, we, met, we met outside. outside. Are you absolutely sure you don't know each other? Rox? Is that Thomas? Did we make it? <sighs> I think we did. Tell me you're getting this. This is so beautiful. Are you crying? It's like a Christmas miracle. How about that? Everyone got exactly what they wanted. Except you. Well, I'm just a guy with a camera and a dream. A dream of the rock cinematic universe. <laughs> So what's this guy's deal? Maybe his wife of 30-some years recently passed. And he just got laid off? And found out he has cancer. And his kids never call. Oh, those ungrateful little fuckers. The loneliest man on earth. Don't say anything. Welcome to Purgatory. Hi, I'm Rox. I'm Thomas. I'm Bradley McNeckbuck, Neckbuck, Neckbuck. And I'm Ella Mae Lippin, 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 Lippin Cot Jr. And we'll be your emotional support liaisons. Lesbians too. Hurt a little bit. Good cut. 
I could cut. You're yeah, right. I absolutely could. could. It's in within mm -hmm. my power to press the red button. Yep. You got to be wondering where all these shots are. You won't yep. be able to find them. It's a problem for future me. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hello, future John. Hi. How you future doing? John. Hey. Oh my gosh, hey. People. Just remember, future John, <laughs> keep trying to make your life easier. <laughs> Oh, Thomas. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rox. I'm Thomas. Uh, I'm... I anticipated, sorry. Hi, I'm Rox. <laughs> I'm Thomas. Yes. I'm Thomas. I'm Barney McNeckfuck. And I'm Ella Mae Lippincott Jr. <laughs> sorry. It's really I'm looking. Do you see that? It just knows. It's really it mind. never will be out of focus ever. <laughs> see that? Are you going to pan up to her? <laughs> you can't pan up. You only pan left and right. Are you going to tilt? Can you shut up about lesbians? Damn hard. Oh. <laughs> I just wanted to clap, see a little movie, see a couple of lesbians. Uh, pardon me, the universe? Do the universe a favor. Do you think we make a good team? <laughs> and rolling. 1971. You ain't call action yet. <laughs> okay. It's mostly about heart. <laughs> we have feelings too. For all of humanity. And not just our jugulars. It's my own When this is over, I'm going to beat you in a game of Scrabble. I love Scrabble. Then we'll have a game night. That sounds like fun. It sure does, and I'll bring chips. But we're not going to have a fucking, 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 fucking game night. Mm -hmm.